Population bet more than £150 million pounds on the outcome. From Aintree, Sky's Nick Powell reports. The betting swung dramatically today. The punters got it right, and the bookies got a hammering from Timmy Murphy and Comply or Die. Pre race talk was more about Cloudy Lane and the McCain family, but trainer David Pipe triumphed as his dad Martin had with Mini Homer 14 years ago. All the right credentials, um, and uh, with a little bit of luck in running, we were going to have a good run, and we've had, we've had a lot of luck, and uh, um, yeah, it's just a great result. I said to David yesterday, did you remember much about Mini Homer's Day? And he said yes, but he didn't remember the evening. So <laughs> That's right, so we're going to have a great evening this evening, I'm sure. Oh, it's static. Um, it's a dream come true for any jockey. Um, but he was, I don't know, he always jumped fabulous and travelled great. Owner David Johnson collected the trophy and £450,000. But it's the glory that counts after 10 years of trying to win the national. Just a few horses in the race, but today, as you say, is a dream. And uh, not too sure I've come off the cloud at the moment. But, uh, you know, he was a good horse. We thought we had a good chance. But uh, I think if we've exceeded all the expectations here today. 40 to 1 this horse was when the weights came out, but he's improved. They gambled him today from 12 to 1 down to 7 to 1 joint favourite. Uh, and about, it's time the punters have something to smile about, and I'll be honest with you, but it was a great result for them. And congratulations for Johnson from Trevor Hemmings, owner of joint favourite Cloudy Lane, who finished sixth. Nick Powell, Sky News, Aintree.